Welcome back to App Created, everybody. This video is long overdue. We are finally picking up our journey to make our own SaaS product while you watch. So if you remember, or if you've been with us for a while, uh, last year we were working on building our own SaaS product and we were kind of doing the entire thing here on the channel so you can follow along. We started off with finding a concept for uh, a dental office manager application that helped office managers find dental assistant and office assistant talent. From there, we went to the local community uh, technical college to ask about their experience teaching dental assistants. We interviewed some dental office managers and found out about their process for recruiting and, uh, and, and hiring dental assistants and office assistants. Um, we went to the technical college and asked them about their experience training them and what some of their biggest problems were. And if you recall, we talked also to the administrator or one of the administrators at MTech. We did some validation of our concept with her and we asked what the pains and gains and the jobs were that, that she was trying to accomplish and that the instructors were trying to accomplish. We had a great interview with Chandra Christiansen, one of the dental assistant instructors at MTech. And, uh, and then we got this reference to uh, the, the accrediting body that accredits the, the dental assistant program there at, uh, at MTech. So here's the email that I wrote to them. We are making progress on the design of our app for technical colleges and wanted to ask for the name of the national accrediting body. We're trying to understand the accreditation requirements so we can improve the experience for technical schools. Could you point me in the right direction? And they wrote back and they said, yes, we are accredited by the Council on Occupational Education out of Atlanta, Georgia. You can probably find everything you need on their website, council.org. So I clicked on council.org uh, and immediately at the very, very top, you can see this link in the menu that says accreditation. And they've got two links that interested me. One was achieving accreditation and the other was maintaining accreditation. So I clicked on achieving accreditation and I went through this list of the different rules that they have. And I won't, I won't read them all to you right here now. But basically they have to submit a letter of intent to seek candidacy. They have to go through like a training program called the Candidate Academy. And they have to submit an application. Then a team comes out to visit them. Uh, the, the, the candidacy is first approved by their commission and then uh, they have to continue to participate in these self-study workshops, annual report workshops. They have to prepare the self-study report, host a preliminary visit. They have to host uh, the accreditation team visit. Uh, so we've got more than one visit going on there. And then also they have to prepare and submit an institutional response to the team report. Then they will get awarded a, an accreditation by the commission. Now. Once they are awarded this accreditation, they have to renew it annually. So uh, you can imagine there's a lot of paperwork involved in maintaining this accreditation. And one thing that I noticed on their site is that it says down here at the bottom, accreditation is renewed annually through submission of an annual report, an electronic document available to institutions through the council's accreditation management system. Okay, that's good and bad. They're already using some kind of accreditation management system. What is that? I don't know. I think that's what we should find out. So um, maybe that system is meeting all of their needs, in which case then um, we won't really be able to help them very much. I was initially hoping we were going to be able to really speed up this accreditation process because it sounded like to me from the previous interviews we had with, uh, with the people from MTech that there was gonna be a lot of paperwork, a lot of manual steps, and I thought maybe we could speed this process up for everyone. And then we could also use that as a, as a you know, to get in the door with lots of different technical colleges around the country. Um, so if they already have a management system, maybe they don't need one, but maybe that uh, accreditation management system isn't addressing all of their needs. So you never know. So I think the next thing to find out would be, um, how can we talk to them to continue our user research? So what I did is I uh, went here to this contact tab. There's a contact info page and uh, you can call them. You can also fill out this contact form. I'm going to uh, fill out the form and then I'm going to give them a phone call and we'll see how that goes. Maybe I can land an interview or a phone call with someone there that can tell me a little bit more about their accreditation management system. The trick would be how can we provide enough value on that initial phone call to get in the door, to get a meeting with them. So that's what we want to find out. So stay tuned, we're gonna do that. We're going, to, uh, we're going to contact them, we're going to see if we can get that interview, and then we're gonna, we're gonna go from there. So thanks for joining, talk to you next time.